So I wanted to do a, um, a short video on the uh, Starman Tarot. And this is a tarot deck um, celebrating uh, David Bowie. And the author, the artist is David DeAngelis. Um, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but um, this was my first deck back in, I think I had gotten this back in 2017. So this is not an unboxing. Um, it was shortly after David Bowie had passed, and um, I was doing some occult reading and looking for a tarot deck, and I came across this. But I'm going to do it in reverse. I'm going to do like kind of like a reverse unboxing. I'm going to show just a few of the cards and then pack it up and show you how everything fits nicely into this nice and sturdy box. The Major Arcana, and I'll just go through this real quick. Um, it's all 78 cards, by the way. Um, the clown is, that would be your, your zero card is, uh, instead of the fool, he has the clown. The star man, that's, it looks like David Bowie. Um, beautiful card. They all are. And the high priestess. The empress. The emperor. I mean, the detail. And the fact that they're borderless is, um, Makes it that much more beautiful. So the lovers, the chariot, strength, death card, the tower, the devil. And that looks like uh, David Bowie again. And the tower, um, it's like the all-seeing eye that you see on the uh, the dollar bill or whatever, and. The devil, the star, the moon, the sun, wow, and um, judgment. And I think that is the likeness of David DeAngelis on there. Let's see what, this looks like a date on there, but it's not. And the world. Your minor arcana, the, um, these are basically your... Um, the wands, the cups, the swords, and the pentacles. I, I kind of put them in order of um, the tree of life, I guess, going going down. So what I'd usually do is um, I'll go like this. So you have the pentacles, Melkut, at the uh, at the bottom, and then the trumps I put on top. with uh, I use these as like two end cards top and the bottom get this in and then the book real quick it's beautiful I mean it's just um, he actually talks about some other things in here that really um, caught my interest um, Kintsugi pottery and that's right here I was like reading through it and it's basically the, uh, the mending of something broken and they generally, I think they, they use gold, they use precious metals to mend it back up, but it's something you get, you get beauty out of um, actually fixing something, actually doing the work and the beauty that it, that it brings from you know, doing such a thing. And then even though it has a scar per se, um, it ends up having meaning. And you know, the fact that you put the, the effort into um, putting it back together, and it ends up being something uh, just as beautiful. Um, and then it fits in nicely. The lightning bolt from, I guess, the, uh, I think it was the Aladdin Sane um, era of the David Bowie. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed.